Hi, it's Natasha with soulbynat.com and I am an associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. The lady that I'm going to be speaking with today, her name is Mrs. Renita White. I started looking into her and seeing how passionate she is about the business of credit and that's exactly what I was looking for and decided to team up with her. We did a call video conference so you're going to see that and get information. Now, we're going to talk about how your score is calculated because a lot of people don't know. 35% of your credit are on-time payments. And I tell people, you want to move heaven and earth. Now, if you pay something late, they might charge you a late charge, a late fee. But anything after 30 days, once they report that 30 days, it will drop your credit and it will have a negative impact on your credit for 24 months. So you want to move heaven and earth and always pay your bills on time. The second uh, highest factor is your capacity and the amount owed. You see people that have maxed out credit cards. You, that hurts your credit score. You want to keep your capacity at 30%. What does that mean? Whatever your credit limit is, you divide it by three and you never want to owe more than that. If you have a $1,000 credit limit on a credit card, you never want to owe more than $333. So you just take your 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 credit limit divided by three. You never want to owe more than that. Length of time. How long you've had accounts. A lot of people get money and they say, I'm going to close all these accounts. That will hurt your credit score because how long you've had accounts is 15% of your credit score. New credit, the number of inquiries and new accounts open in the last um, 12 to 18 months. And this happens a lot when people go shopping for cars, they go to the dealership and that dealership will run your credit with 10 banks. Now you have 10 inquiries on your credit that will stay on for 24 months. So always be mindful of who is doing a hard inquiry on your credit because that is 10%. And the last is uh, the type of credit. You have installment loans, which are your car notes, your house notes. These are loans that are going to remain the same. And then you have revolving credit, which is your credit card. So these are the five factors that influence all of our credit scores. Now, some things they don't want you to know. First of all, the credit agencies...